Hello, my name is Charles Taylor um, in the statistics group at the University of Leeds. And in this session, we're going to talk about the normal distribution, really just an introduction to the topic. So firstly, we'll look at the normal distribution as a model for continuous data. And I've drawn here uh, a histogram of chest measurements of Scottish militiamen taken from about the middle of the 19th century. There were about uh, 6,500 Scottish militia, and each one has a chest measurement recorded. And here we have a histogram of the results. And we can see what's quite a characteristic shape of this sort of bell-shaped curve. And many data sets have a very similar picture when you draw a histogram. Um, in particular, those data sets which are based on physical measurements, like length, or height, or weights, or temperature, or time. All these ones um, could have very precise measurements where you record them to lots of decimal places. And so we can think of those as being on a continuous scale. But of course, very often, the data is just recorded to a discrete set of points. So you might measure to the nearest centimeter, or to the nearest inch, or you might measure to one decimal place. And so the records of the data can appear to be discrete, even though the measurements themselves are technically on a continuous scale. And so in this data set, these measurements were actually measured to the nearest inch. And so this resolution of the histogram is as fine as we could get. And of course, although we can use the normal distribution for continuous data, it also serves as a very good model for some discrete data sets. So for example, if you measure your performance on an exam, usually recorded as a percentage, then although those numbers are usually integers, we can still use a normal distribution as a, in most cases, an adequate approximation to the data. So strictly speaking, it's for continuous data, but can often work for discrete data. And of course, at the end of the day, we're interested in whether it's a good approximation, not necessarily whether it's an exact uh, or technically accurate value.